How did he get on Kew's radar? Well, Wilson was a student here, a horticultural student in uh, 1898. Uh, he was a, a, a good academic, he was very clever, and, uh, and he was being primed to be a, a teacher, to lecture in uh, horticulture in college. That would have been a real waste. And at that time, Q were looking for someone to go out to China, and he was the man, you know, he was picked as the, the right person. And, uh, and it turned out that he was, you know, and he, he needed to be um, tough, you know, he was going to China, he was going on his own, uh, so he needed a sense of survival, he needed a good eye for plants, and he needed to be uh, diplomatic as well, and, and, and Wilson fitted the bill. What made Wilson stand out uh, from the other plant hunters in the early 20th century? Well, it, it was a time of, of new plant exploration, and uh, what, what I think Wilson was good at was he had, he had a horticultural background and a science background, and he, and he merged the two. So not only was he looking for rare species, but he was looking for plants of good horticultural uh, merit that would be good in our gardens in, uh, in, in the British Isles and, and Europe. Uh, why was he so prolific? Was he just more successful in bringing seeds back that actually you were able to, you know, able to propagate? Is yeah, well, he, he had a really good eye uh, for you know, quality plants. He, he knew what he needed to collect. He collected good seed. Uh, and he was venturing into areas that had been little explored before. So, you know, everything he was finding was going to be new in, uh, in our gardens. So, you know, he couldn't really go wrong, but at the end of the day, he still collected good things. Did you actually have to have like an encyclopedic knowledge of, of, of plant life to know what to look out for then? I mean, today we have iPads, you can easily Google yeah, something. So. Well, you know, he, he was relying on people like Augustine Henry, who uh, was already out there sending material back to Kew. So uh, Henry sent something like 65,000 dried herbarium specimens back to Kew. Uh, and at that time we realized that it was no living plant material and that's why we needed a plant collector out there to, to bring this living material back. And Wilson, who was a, an academic, he was a good lad, he was the one that was chosen. So how important is his work uh, to Kew today? Well, you know, I think the, the work that Wilson did uh, is not only important to Kew, uh, but it's important for horticulture generally across, across the world. You know, most, most people that have a garden today, in, in, certainly in the British Isles, will have at least one plant that Wilson introduced. You know, and that's quite a remarkable in, um, achievement. But, you know, trees like this that he, that he brought back, you know, Grace, our uh, arboretum uh, and gardens and you know most historic gardens will have old plants of, of Wilson's around so the work that he did you know set, it set the scene and today you know we um, you know we rely on his collections today and some have been developed and moved on we've got better forms and cultivars but you know he did the groundwork he got them into into cultivation mm -hmm. and uh, and and I think that's really important and, and named many of them and, and contributed to many met much of the works that we read today in in our books it is is part of Wilson's work